Stone Soup, an old tale with many versions tells of a starving man who comes to a village, but no one there can spare a crumb of food for him. He puts a stone in water in a pot over a fire. Entry, the villagers watch him as he begins to stir the soup. Eventually, one brings a couple of potatoes to add to the mix. Another has a few carrots. One person adds an onion, another a handful of barley. A farmer donates some milk. Eventually, the stone soup becomes a tasty chowder. That tale illustrates the value of sharing, but it also reminds us to bring what we have, even when it seems to be insignificant. In John 6 verses 1 to 14, we read of a boy who appears to be the only person in a huge crowd who thought about bringing some food. Christ's disciples had little use for the boy's bars, a lunch of five loaves and two fishes. But when it was surrendered, Jesus increased it and fed thousands of hungry people. I once heard someone say, you don't have to feed the 5,000. You just have to bring your loaves and fishes. Just as Jesus took one person's meal and multiplied it, far beyond anyone's expectations or imagination. Verse 11. He'll accept our surrendered efforts, talents, and service. He just wants us to be willing to bring what we have to Him. What have you been holding back from God? Why is it difficult to bring that area of your life to Him? Jesus, help me to surrender whatever I have to You, knowing You can multiply a little to a lot.